so I am going to teach you guys how to do like everyday soft curls. Um, it took me literally like, well excluding me talking, it probably would only take you about seven minutes to get this glamorous hair for school, you know, trying to impress your man when you're in class. Well, I already have a curling tutorial from way back in the day, but I thought that was, I don't know, that video or that tutorial, it was more, the curls were a lot more tight. And this one's just a little bit more loose and just something really quick to do every day. It looks like, you know, you spent a long time on your hair when, you know, you really didn't. So, this is obviously just what it looks like. Okay, so I um, already did this side and for some reason I couldn't really film it. Or I did film it, but then I was too busy looking in the mirror instead of talking. So, what I did first was I just split my hair into two sections like this. So I'm just going to take a random strand, and I'm starting from the front first, and I'm just going to take my hair straightener, take it like that, and then I'm just going to twist it once, hold on to the hair straightener really tight, and just pull, and then just comb that out. And then, at this part again, I'm not going to do anything too close to the roots. Hold that, twist, and pull. And I'm going to do the same thing, except with this one, I'm going to start right here, twist it once, and pull. And as you can see, my hair strainer is obviously just completely vertical, and that's how I hold it. Um, for some reason, on this side for me, it was a lot easier for me to hold it upside down this way and just hold it vertically, and then hold the tips and twist it once and pull it. So it just kind of depends um, on what's more comfortable for you and what technique works the best for you, but this one works better for me. So again, I'm just going to take that and, you know, just twist. And then for the back, I'm just going to grab more random strands. If you have a mirror, I suggest you to definitely look in the back and see what you're doing right, but for the sake of time and I'm pretending that I'm going to school right now, I'm not going to really care too much about it because since I already split my hair in half, the back portion should already be in the front, so once I put it back, it should still look pretty identical to the front and not like, you know, curly up here and then it's kind of like the back is completely straight. To volumize the crown a little bit more, I'm just going to grab more random pieces right here and then flip it back. Yeah, I need to re-dye my roots. Don't, don't tell me. I have guys tell me, Michelle, when are you going to re-dye your roots? I meant to not dye them. But I don't want to ruin my hair. Like, it's already colored enough. You're like, your roots are showing. You're a boy. Go away. So I'm just going to grab another random section right here. And just take that and flip it back. And take another section. You, you get the gist. Just something to easily volumize your hair. To make it look, you know, a little bit more pretty and, um, you know, just very soft curls. For my bangs, I'm going to section it off into two sections. I'm going to take that and curl that in a bit. Oops, my hair straightener set super high, 410. I could bake a cake in 410. And then taking this section right here, curling that inwards and doing the same thing. Oh, I forgot a strand. Look at, look at that thing sticking out. It looks like a french fry. Just going to finger comb everything. And yeah, this is the completed look. I hope you guys like it. My bed, I made my bed, I made my bed today. It's all nice and neat and I think I'll sit on the floor. Yeah, I'll sit on the floor. I don't know. Like, throughout the day, it's like, when the darkness comes over, like, my weirdness just rises. Poetry in Pink asked me if I announced the winners for my last contest yet, which was in my December favorites. And the thing is, I did. I announced it on Tumblr. I privately messaged the winners. Um, but the people never messaged me back, and I gave them a really, really long time. I gave them more than I was supposed to. So... <clears throat> um... Yeah, like they just never messaged back. I guess they thought I was a hoax or something, or they asked their parents if they could give me, you know, let me have their address, but they probably said no, because they would 
I don't know, you know how parents are, they probably assumed that I was going to Google Maps them and, you know, look up the street view and, you know, their house and just end up stalking them. Because that is totally what I do. Or, you know, just Facebook stalk them if I'm a bit lazy. If not, you know, I can always just take a road trip down to your house and go after you. So, I'm announcing new winners officially now, so, you know, you guys know that, I don't know, it's me, even though it's been me all along. So the new winners are... Kelly X 12 you are the winner. I will put your little thing right here. And... IDK, a username, 11. You guys are the winners. Um, okay, so the t-shirts look like this. They run a bit big for the fact that it's unisex. Just looks like this. Sorry, it's kind of crinkly, but no, I promise well, when I send this out to you, it won't be nasty and crinkly. Okay, so I don't really want to sound like an advertisement, but if you guys want to support me and, <clears throat> I don't know, buy a t-shirt, please do, because I really want to start a new line. This was just kind of like, I guess you would call it a sample sale. If you guys want to support me, then I'll post a link down below where you guys can visit and get the shirt. It's only $13. Well, at least, I don't know, if you guys don't buy a shirt, I can wear one each for each day, you know? I'll never run out of t-shirts. Just saying. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. Okay, bye!